Our agricultural landscapes have also changed dramatically in recent times. A century ago, the sight of gentle giants pulling plows across fields like this one would have been commonplace. The backbone of the rural economy, now threatened with extinction. Here's Margarita. This Shire horse is gravely ill, unable to stand up for six hours. If she doesn't get on her feet soon, she will need to be put to sleep. But her stable mate will not give up. Amazingly, he pulls her to her feet and saves her life. These are incredible animals. They inspired the strength and grace of Warhorse for the West End stage. The character of Joey told the story of the one million horses, including Shires, who were sent to war and gave their lives for their country. But sadly, now these heroic Shire horses are at risk. Very, very few Shire foals have been born this year, they tell me. We should soon be down to below 100 foals a year if we're not careful. That is a critical state to get to. For the past 50 years, Oxfordshire farmer Bob Brickle has been working his 500 acres using Shire horses. These equine beauties are a way of life for him and even a little bit of rain can't dampen his enthusiasm. The passion for the Shire horse has been with me right from a little boy, and I don't think I could get rid of it. It's in me. It just comes, and once, you get, once it gets in you, it never leaves you, I don't think. Today, horse breeder Ned Kenor has come all the way from the Isle of Man to inspect a rather affectionate foal. Go on, then. Go on. <laughs> Poor Ned. He wants your glasses, Ned. Can't get rid of them now. And who could resist such a friendly Go nuzzle? Go on. Carry on, Ned. I won't let him hurt you. But these beautiful creatures could soon be a thing of the past. The Rare Breed Survival Trust say that the number of breeding females has now dropped to below 1,500 in the UK, and Bob thinks he knows why. The trouble is, our forefathers, the, sh the real horse people, have passed on, they've left this world, and the sons have been brought up with tractors. If our forefathers were still here, there would still be a lot of horses here, and not so many big tractors blocking up the roads, perhaps. Before mechanization at the start of the 20th century, 2.6 million heavy horses were working in the UK, but now less than 10,000 remain. The village of Hook Norton in Oxfordshire is one of the last places in the UK that you will see them on the road like this. Lucas and Commander are still being used to deliver beer for the local brewery. And groom Elizabeth is their biggest fan. The Shire horse's character is really just amazing. And the sheer power of them is just absolutely mind-blowing. It's great. Originally referred to as the Great Horse, the Shire was of enormous importance in medieval Britain, carrying knights into battle. These days, their great size makes them suitable for draft work. Elizabeth is taking over the reins here at Hook Norton Brewery. Luke, we put your collar on. From Roger, who has devoted his life to these animals. Yeah. Been in the role of the horseman here at uh, the brewery for the last 20 years. I just love the ambience, the, the calmness, the serenity, the, the pace of life. I think it's in my blood, really. My father was a horseman, a jockey, so it followed on that I did this, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> but will it remain financially viable for this brewery to continue using working horses to deliver ale to pubs, just as they would have done a century ago? It's imperative that uh, these horses are, are, are kept uh, doing jobs like this. And as long as the, the economics don't outweigh the, the uh, popularity of the horse, they have a, a, an assured existence. But if, if that time comes when the economic turndown is such, they don't want horses, it'll be a sad, sad day. Yeah, come on, then. These gentle giants have had a place here for over 150 years and attract huge numbers of visitors, and they still earn their keep delivering beer to the local pubs. 
Go on, together, together, together. Go on, go on, Lukey. Go on, Lukey. Go on, Lukey. Go on, Lukey. Go on. Go on, up, up. Go on. Unbelievable feeling when you're sat in that seat driving them. Feel the power. It's such a romantic sight to see it while still being practical. I love it. Good, well done, you two. But it's not just a jolly. The humans also have to craft a bit as well. Well, one of them does. Well, Roger is doing all the work while I can enjoy a pint or a half. But the beer isn't all for the pubs. After pulling a two-ton load, these thirsty horses need refreshment. There are some perks with this job. So our Shire horses get beer on a daily basis. And I mean, Commander is an expert of drinking beer. And you can even hear, hear the slurping of him. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, eh? Goodness me, eh? Oh, no. Shire Horses, who works for a brewery, they, that's part of their job, drinking beer. Right, I'm more contented now, eh? That's <laughs> well, if any breed deserves an occasional treat, it's this one. They have worked the land, driven the economy, and helped to defend the country. But within 10 years, they could be gone. Look at this lovely sight. How can anybody not admire the sight of, of shy horses? Just can't let them go out of existence. As worthy of conservation as any stately home or ancient monument, the Shire horse needs to be championed in the UK now more than ever companies and private owners has a great responsibility to to keep the breed going and people are passionate about them and it's great to be part of it and bob and ned are also determined to help the next generation to fall in love with the breed we do everything we can to encourage young handlers to come to the agricultural shows to the open days hello it's not that there are not young people coming into the industry. There's not enough young people coming into it. It's never give up. You just got to fight on. There's always hope. There's as long as hope. wherever there's life, there's hope. So the challenge of saving the future of such magnificent beasts is being passed on to the next generation of horse lovers. And that's all from Country File Autumn Diaries. We hope you've enjoyed the series and that we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>